Biodiversity embraces the variety of species and ecosystems that constitute life on Earth. Humans themselves are part of this biodiversity and directly depend upon it for food, shelter and other fundamental needs such as the oxygen we breathe. This tree is called juniper and has a long history going back hundreds of years. During these years, it has seen the sun rise tens of thousands of times and witnessed firsthand the troubled history of the Cypriot people. To survive, it had to overcome numerous threats from various sources, mostly the work of humans themselves. More often than not, human activity is the principal force threatening the natural environment through negligence, ignorance or merely necessity. We are currently witnessing a steady loss of biodiversity with profound consequences for the natural world and for human well-being. Over the last 25 years, the EU has established a network of 26,000 protected areas covering 18% of the land and significant areas of the sea in order to safeguard Europe's most valuable but increasingly threatened wildlife and habitats. Known as Natura 2000, it is the largest network of conservation areas anywhere in the world and a testament to the significance ascribed to biodiversity by EU citizens. Στο νησί υπάρχουν 42 διαφορετικοί τύποι οικοτόπων. Αξίζει να σημειωθεί ότι πέντε από αυτούς προτάθηκαν από την Κύπρο ως νέο εισερχόμενο κράτος μέλος της Ένωσης. Αυτοί λοιπόν οι πέντε οικοτόποι υπάρχουν μόνο στην Κύπρο και σε κανένα άλλο κράτος μέλος όπως για παράδειγμα είναι τα ενδυμικά δάση κέδρου και οι θαμνώνες με λατζά. Από αυτούς τους 42 οικότοπους, οι 12 αποτελούν οικότοπους προτεραιότητας. Είναι δηλαδή σπάνιοι οικότοποι για τους οποίους η Κυπριακή Δημοκρατία, καθώς και όλα τα κράτη-μέλη, πρέπει να λαμβάνουν μέτρα για τη διατήρηση και την προστασία τους. Under the Life Plus program, the project Improving the conservation status of priority habitat type 9560, endemic forests with juniperus in Cyprus, with the acronym Juniper CY, is being implemented in Cyprus. The project aims to enable the long-term conservation of the endemic forests with juniperus species in Cyprus. Don Juniper CY αποτελεί το πρώτο έργο Life Plus που επικεντρώθηκε στη διατήρηση του οικοτόπου 9560 στην Κύπρο. Καλύπτει όλες τις θέσεις στις οποίες εμφανίζεται το οικότοπος εντός του δικτύου Natura 2000 στην Κυπριακή Δημοκρατία. Το έργο έχει συνολική διάρκεια 42 μηνών και συνολικό προϋπολογισμό 1.184.000 ευρώ. Από το ποσό αυτό, το 75% χρηματοδοτήθηκε από το πρόγραμμα Life Plus. The juniperus genus includes evergreen coniferous trees or shrubs and is classified among other conifers like the cypress in the plant family of Cupressaceae. Junipers and cypresses are very similar due to their scale-like leaves but they can be distinguished by their fruits. In Cyprus, the habitat type 9560 occurs in four subtypes according to the dominant juniperus species. At lower altitudes, along the coastline of the Akamas Peninsula, the habitat is dominated by the species Juniperus phoenicia. In the area of Madari Papuza, the habitat is dominated by the species Juniperus excelsa. In the Trudos National Forest Park, the habitat is mainly formed by the species Juniperus fetidissima and to a much smaller extent by Juniperus oxycedrus. 
Moreover, juniper forests are found in the occupied areas of Cyprus, such as the Karpasia Peninsula and the Kormakitis village. The Akamas Peninsula is a unique area with great diversity of landscapes and species of flora and fauna. Akamas is a distinguishing example of a well-preserved terrestrial and marine ecosystem in the eastern Mediterranean area. For this reason, Akamas is one of the most attractive sites for leisure and tourism activities on the island. One of the natural habitats occurring in Akamas is priority habitat type 9560, which is dominated by the characteristic species Juniperus phoenicia. Although this species is common in shrub formations in the coastal zone of the island, in Akamas it also occurs as trees, often more than four meters high. In young plants, the leaves are needle-like and they become scale-like in adults. The fruit is usually spherical and shiny and a dark reddish brown in color. Η ζωτικότητα του οικοτόπου 9560 στον Ακάμα απειλείται από συγκεκριμένου παράγοντε. Κυριότεροι είναι η κλιματική αλλαγή, ο κίνδυνο πυρκαγιά, η υπερβόσκηση και η επίδραση του μεγάλου αριθμού επισκεπτών στην περιοχή. Dust deposition from nearby forest roads as well as from off-road driving has become a major threat for the habitat. The dust that falls on the leaves affects the physiological and biological functions of the plants. During the last decades, Uncontrolled grazing led to the destruction of young plants and peeling of the barks of larger trees. These impacts, coupled with illegal logging, have resulted in the gradual degradation of the habitat. In the past, the local people from the settlements nearby Akamas used the wood of Juniperus phoenicia for building roofs, fences, and the so-called stiadia, the shacks used by the shepherds as shelter in the countryside while staying away from their households. The juniper wood was specifically favored because of its resilience against adverse weather conditions and its durability against decay. The area of Madari Papuza occupies the highest parts of Adelphi Forest in the western part of the Trudos Mountains. Madari is characterized by a spectacular geological formation known as Tisha Tis Madaris. The area is of great natural beauty and is part of the Natura 2000 network. Here, steep rocky slopes with clusters of conifers and evergreen shrubs provide refuge for unique species of the flora and fauna of Cyprus. In the wider area of Madari Papuza, at an altitude of 1,200 to 1,600 meters, Juniperus excelsa occurs. The species can grow up to 12 meters tall. The tree crown in young individuals is conical and becomes wide and branched in later development. The tree looks like Juniperus fetidissima, but it has thinner stems. This is a tree of great ecological value that offers indispensable forest cover to the rocky mountains of the area. 
The species is in danger of extinction as it is threatened by climate change and fires. Thus, its immediate protection and reforestation is vital. The forest formations with Juniperus excelsa are probably remnants of more extensive forests that were destroyed by fire or degraded to scrubs in the past, mainly due to excessive logging and land clearing for agriculture. The Trudos mountain complex is the highest mountain range in Cyprus, with peaks reaching 1,951 metres in height. The topography and the geology of Trudos are the main regulators of weather conditions in Cyprus, especially rainfall. Consequently, Trudos regulates not only the surface water bodies, but also the underground aquifers affecting the flora and fauna of the island. Trudos Mountain constitutes a biodiversity hotspot on the island because of the unparalleled diversity of flora, fauna and habitats it hosts. In the heart of the mountain lies the Trudos National Forest Park where the habitat occurs with two subtypes of the genus Juniper dominated by either Juniperus foetidissima or by Juniperus oxycedrus. Η οικολογική αξία του οικοτόπου 95-60 στην περιοχή του Εθνικού Δασικού Πάρκου Τρόδους είναι ιδιαίτερα σημαντική. Οι συστάδες δασών αοράτου που σχηματίζονται συμβάλλουν στη δημιουργία μικροπεριβάλλοντος που ευνοεί την παρουσία και ανάπτυξη πολλών άλλων ειδών χλωρίδα στον υπόροφό του. Πολλά από αυτά τα είδη είναι ενδυμικά και σπάνια στο νησί. Juniperus fetidissima is a cold tolerant species that appears exclusively around the area of Χιονίστρα. It is a shrub or tree that can reach 15 to 20 meters in height. It bears black spherical fruits with purple coating and very small dark green scale-like leaves. Many juniper trees in Trudos are perennial such as a juniper found at the area called Lumata ton Aeton, whose trunk circumference is 4.45 meters and has an estimated age of more than 500 years. On the other hand, Juniperus oxycedrus forms a representative stand close to Amiantos village. It differs from the other juniper species due to its leaves, which are not like scales, but are actually needle-like. Both species found on the Trudos mountain face threats similar to the other two sites of Akamas and Madari, as well as pressures associated with the specifics of each region. Habitat type 9560 is quite distinguishable from juniper materials and a unique and valuable element of biodiversity, forming forest stands with trees taller than four meters in height. Apart from this, the regeneration of junipers is considerably low, especially for Juniperus foetidissima, which means that the number of new plants that naturally propagate are limited. This is indicated by the slow development of the trees, the low viability of the seeds produced and released into the environment, and their difficulty to germinate. Before taking any measures for the conservation of a species or habitat type, all the necessary information that may be lacking should be collected in the field. Μέσα από μια σειρά δραστηριοτήτων προσπαθήσαμε να αντλήσουμε και να συγκεντρώσουμε όλες τις αναγκαίες πληροφορίες γύρω από τη σύνθεση και τη δομή του συγκεκριμένου τύπου οικοτόπου στον οποίο αφορά το έργο. The objective is the protection and restoration of the site and the characteristic species that compose it. To achieve this goal, 
The detailed mapping and identification of the exact boundaries of the distribution of the habitat type took place. Following on, data on the composition, structure and ecology of juniper forests were recorded. Important actions at this stage were the preparation of monitoring and management plans. Moreover, conservation actions were implemented which included measures for in situ and ex situ conservation. Οι επιτόπου δράση διατήρηση περιέλαμβαναν εργασίε εντό των φυσικών ορίων εξάπλωση του οικοτόπου, όπω η οριοθέτηση και περίφραξη τμήματων του οικοτόπου που απειλούνται με υπερβόρτιση. Επίση, η απομάκρυση τη ανταγωνιστική βλάστηση με ήπιου δασοκομικού χειρισμού σε επιλεγμένε περιοχέ και τέλο, μικρή κλίμακα αναδασώση, απομάκρυση εισβλητικών ειδών αλλά και φύτευση συνοδών ειδών. The risk of fire is a major threat for forests. The Department of Forests takes special measures for their protection through fire breaks, forestations, fire outposts and the Forest Firefighting Task Force. Therefore, the risk of forest fires is minimized and the conservation of biodiversity is safeguarded in the wider area. The ex situ conservation actions included the installation of living collections of juniperous species that constitute the habitat type 9560 at the botanic gardens of Trudos and Akamas, as well as the storage of their seeds in a seed bank. The seed bank was established within the framework of the project at the Trudos Botanic Gardens in Amiantos. The selection and filling of sperm in the Trapeza Genetic Ulicu appears to be the most Γενικά αποδεκτή και σημαντική μέθοδο εκτό τόπου διατήρηση ενό είδου ή υποείδου. Τα σπέρματα, αφού περάσουν από μια διαδικασία επεξεργασία στη βάση διεθνών επιστημονικών προτύπων, διατηρούνται σε συγκεκριμένε συνθήκε. Στόχο τη διαδικασία είναι να είναι βιώσιμα και να μπορούν να χρησιμοποιηθούν οποιαδήποτε στιγμή για εργαστηριακέ μελέτε ή για φύτρωση και παραγωγή φυτών. The efforts to preserve the habitat are further advanced with actions aiming to inform local communities and visitors and raise awareness on the targeted habitat type. Για το σκοπό αυτό διοργανώνονται εργαστήρια, ημερίδες πληροφόρησης με τη συμμετοχή όλων των κοινωνικών εταίρων για ενίσχυση του διαλόγου και των συμμετοχικών διαδικασιών. Παράλληλα, δημιουργήθηκαν σχετικά ενημερωτικά έντυπα στην ελληνική και αγγλική γλώσσα και τοποθετήθηκαν επί τόπου πινακίδες ενημέρωσης με πληροφορίες για την ευπάθεια του οικοτόπου και κώδικες καλής συμπεριφοράς για τους επισκέπτες. Climate change, biodiversity loss and deforestation are threatening the ecological balance of the planet. Although climate change is at the center of attention of global media, biodiversity decline constitutes an even more prominent threat since the degradation of ecosystems is so rapid and severe that often the situation is irreversible. A precondition for effective environmental management is the active involvement of the public. Admittedly, at the cornerstone of environmental policy lies man himself and his needs. <laughs>